Sample exam two, question two. A salesperson is working on a detailing call plan with four doctors. The expected revenue from each doctor's prescription are listed in the sheet detailing. The profit margin from each doctor differs, also provided in the data sheet. The total number of calls is no more than 15. So first calculate the current total profit based on the effort allocation to each doctor. Second, use Excel's solver to maximize the total profit by optimizing the detailing effort. The sales calls must be non-negative integers. And part C, what percentage does the profit increase from optimizing detailing effort? So here's the data. This is almost the same as the example we used when we introduced how to use Excel Silver to optimize sales call effort allocations. And now we have four different accounts, A, B, C, D, and these numbers are the expected revenues from each account based on the number of calls. And the current call allocations are seven for account A, three for account B, three for account C, and two for account D. And first, so let's calculate the total number of calls here. Sum up these and enter. So it's 15, that's what we want. And uh, the profit margin, this is the part we didn't deal with before. So these are revenue numbers and we need profit margin to figure out the profit. And the way to conduct this calculation is first we want to figure out the revenue from each account and then we calculate the current total profit. And we'll conduct a similar calculation on the new call plan here. And then we're going to use Silver to optimize the total profit by varying the number of calls to create a new call plan. So now let's do this. First, we want to find out the revenue based on the number of calls. And here we want to use a if formula first, because if the number of calls is zero, then the revenue would be zero. Otherwise, the revenue is a index to find out in this area, comma, and in row seven, what that number is, that would give us the revenue based on the number of calls. And close index, and close if, and enter. So this basically gives us the revenue from each one of the account. And then the current profit is equal to these profit margins multiplied into the revenues from each one of the account and then summed up. So we're going to use the formula that we have used before. Sum product would be the profit margins, comma, multiplied into the revenues, and then close the parenthesis and enter. So that gives us the current profit. Now we're going to do the same calculation used for Excel to optimize the sales call efforts. Again, first, let's calculate the total number of calls and close the parenthesis. Keep in mind that the total number of calls should not be over 15. So this is one of the constraints we need to set. Now we calculate the new revenue. We use a similar formula equals if the new call plan. If this is zero, then the revenue is zero. Otherwise, the revenue is an index, finding out in this array of data, comma, in row seven, what that revenue is, and then close the index, close if, and enter. So now we can copy this over. And similarly, we do equals sum product of the profit margins, 
comma, multiply it into the revenues, and close the parentheses, and enter. So right now, the profit is the same because we have not varied the calls yet. And now go to data, silver, and here what we want to do is to maximize this profit by changing the cells here, number of calls. And in this case, since we have used if and index for calculating profit, we need to use a different optimizing engine. We have to use the evolutionary solving method. And when you use evolutionary solving method, you need to set the constraints more carefully because the engine is not very efficient. And uh, having a good constraint really help finding the solutions. So click Add. Now, these constraints are set on the variables we vary to maximize profit. So these hours. And the up constraint is we know the total is 15. So any of these call plan hours cannot be over 15. And so, OK, that's the first constraint we set. And we all continue to add more. Again, these call plans, they need all to be integers. So choose this, and t represents integers. Click OK. And the final constraint we need is we know that the total number of calls should not exceed 15. So this sum of the total calls should not be over 15. And click OK. Now in Evolutionary Solver, we should go to Options to set the options, because that would influence whether we can reach the optimal solution or not. Click the Evolutionary tab. And here, if this number by default, usually Excel will give you 30. If this number is 30, you should set this to a larger number of 100. That is 5 minutes instead of 30 seconds. And require bonds on variables. And click OK. Now you're back to the solver interface. And then click on Solve. When you use an evolutionary solver, sometimes it takes a while to reach the optimal solution. This is especially the case when you're using a Mac. This is why we set 300 seconds instead of 30 seconds, so that to make sure solver reaches the optimal solution. So the maximum amount of time you're going to wait for the solution to come out is 5 minutes. OK, now I've stopped the solver because the solution is already here. Click OK. And now we have the new allocation of sales calls. So we have decreased the calls from 7 to 5 for account A, increased the calls from 3 to 7 for account B, and staying the same for account C, and stop calling account D because it's not worth it. Now the next question asks for the percentage increase in profit after the optimization. So that's equal to parenthesis, the new total profit minus the old total profit, close the parenthesis, and divide it by the old total profit. And click Enter. And uh, so overall, through this optimization, we can increase the profit by almost 9%. That concludes this video.